Hi guys, my name is Clifton and welcome to Concrete, my home improvement and consulting channel. In today's video, I'm going to share five elements of passive solar design. If this is your first time to my channel, please watch the full video and if you like it, subscribe and remember to click on the notification bell. Passive solar design is basically an approach that uses the sun's energy and the surrounding climate to provide natural heating and cooling. Number one, aperture, or otherwise described as a collector. It is a large glass area through which the sunlight enters the building. Typically, the aperture should face within 50 degrees of the true self and should not be shaded by other buildings or trees from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. each day during the eating season. Number two, absorber. The absorber is the hot, darkened surface of the storage element. The surface sits in a direct path of the sunlight and the sunlight hits the surface and it's absorbed as heat. For example, a masonry wall, a floor, or that of a water container. Number three, distribution. Distribution is the method by which solar heat circulates from the collection and storage points to the different areas of your house. A strictly passive design will use the three natural heat transfer modes conduction, convection and radiation. In some appliances, fans and ducts may help with distribution of heat through the house. Number four, thermal mass. Thermal mass are the material that stores or retain heat produced by the sunlight. So almost like the absorber, except thermal mass is the material below or behind the exposed surface. Number five, control. For example, roof overhangs can be used to shade the aperture area during summer months. Other elements can be used to control overheating or underheating. For example, low emissivity blinds, awnings, Propel vents and dampers can also be used to allow or restrict heat flow. There you go. As a fundamental law, remember heat moves from warmer materials to cooler ones until there is no longer a temperature difference between the two. Have an awesome day. Remember, keep it simple.